The Apple TV, the key to expanding the horizons of home entertainment. Okay, that was a Pioneer's thing, actually. Uh, this is the Apple TV. This is the original Apple TV, the very first generation that Apple released in 2007. Well, this video is being made in 2017, so guess what? This little device is already 10 years old. It's ridiculous. Time goes by so fast, and technology is uh, changing so fast. I mean, this device is now like this big, like the corner of this Apple TV. You may be wondering why there is an HD DVD in this picture. The reason is, is because there's a story that connects these two, at least for me. I was an early adopter of the HD DVD format. HD DVD was a very short-lived competitor to the Blu-ray format. And HD DVD was uh, just as good as Blu-ray. There was no difference in the picture quality. It was just a different encoding method that was used to encode the discs. So I was an early adopter, as I said, and I was part of the crowd that cried the day that Toshiba announced that they would no longer support the HD DVD format. And when Warner Brothers came forth and said, we're not gonna support it either, the writing was on the wall and it was gonna go. So it left and I cried um, figuratively. There we go, I, 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 I cried figuratively. So strangely enough, Best Buy sends me this gift certificate with an apology letter in the mail saying, we're so sorry that HD DVD was a complete flop. Here's 50 bucks. So you'll never guess what I spent that $50 on or toward. Yes, you guessed it. One of these things. Now, what's interesting is these have a feature that you probably didn't know they had originally is this also doubles as a hot plate. So you can put like a cup of coffee on the top while it's running and it will get hot enough to keep your coffee warm. It's pretty amazing. So in the future, uh, the future versions of the Apple TV it was completely redesigned and it didn't require all the heat in order to do its processing. Um, little tiny itty bitty baby remote, almost like a, like a stick of gum that was included with it. Uh, the Apple TV is actually really easy to find on eBay, relatively cheap. Uh, I usually see them start for around $30. Uh, there, are, there are versions of Linux that will run on this little box. You can run Xbox Media Center uh, on it as well. So you have to create a flash drive and you can flash its little memory and you can um, erase it. So one of the features that the Apple TV had that future versions have omitted is that it has a built-in hard drive on the inside. So I have strategically cut little squares where all the screw holes are because I kind of made this a hobby for a little while. Um, I took the hard drive out, which is an IDE hard drive and upgraded it to a bigger one. I also created an image of this hard drive by putting it, uh, connecting it to an external adapter, plugging it into a PC, running a Linux command and creating an image of the drive uh, within Linux and was actually able to use that image to image the new drive that's in here now. Uh, let me show you some of the features on the back here real quick before we get into the inside of it, because a lot of these jacks are gone now, too. Uh, in fact, th these are the only two you get now as far as audio video outputs uh, is HDMI and the optical audio out, which may in fact be gone on the newest, newest versions. Uh, you might get a USB port and you might get an Ethernet jack and a power plug. These are all gone. So your uh, analog left and right uh, RCA jacks are gone, as well as your component video output is also gone. But this unit did have Wi-Fi and you could connect it to iTunes and sync all of your media over to it, as well as your own. Used um, Handbrake to uh, rip some DVDs and put them onto my computer and then sync them right over to the Apple TV, which is pretty cool. So let me show you what's going on on the inside of this thing. Pretty interesting. And then after I show you the inside, we are going to see the original, like uh, introductory video to the Apple TV. So you'll see it in its entirety. I looked around on YouTube and nobody else had posted it.
So you may be actually seeing something original here on the DataBits channel. So underneath here is your IDE hard drive connected with an IDE cable right into the motherboard here. You have a backup battery right there, just like on a PC. You've got a cooling fan right here above the processor. And I believe it is a, I believe it is an Intel processor that's in here. Uh, here is your Wi-Fi adapter card. Here is, oh, this is the power supply uh, module right over here. And then uh, you've got your front IR receiver and power indicator light right there. So again, it's a pretty cool thing here. I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see it a little bit better. So, yep, this is the inside of an Apple TV. Okay. So again, I wanted to share this information with you. It's a really fun device. And because I am going to show you this demo video with a, a girl I dated in high school, she's the moderator of it. Uh, if you own the current version of the Apple TV, you'll notice some differences between what the interface looked like in the beginning in 2007 and what it looks like today. So no more HD DVD talk. This is all Apple TV from here on out. And again, uh, let me run that video for you and we'll see you at the end. Hi, I'm Hannah. I work at one of our Apple retail stores, and I'll be taking you through this guided tour of iTunes movie rentals on Apple TV. Wouldn't it be great if you could rent movies directly from your TV and watch them instantly without ever leaving the living room? Well, now you can. Thanks to the iTunes Store and Apple TV, you can rent movies and enjoy them on your computer, iPod, iPhone, or widescreen TV. No more driving to the rental store. No more waiting for DVD rentals to arrive in the mail. Now, with movie rentals on Apple TV, just click a button on your remote and rent from your couch. Let me show you how. Apple TV has a brand new interface that makes renting movies from your living room easier than ever before. The interface is designed to bring the wealth of great content from the internet and present it simply on your modern widescreen TV. Inside the movies menu, see what you've already rented. Explore the top movies, sort by genre, all HD, search, view theatrical trailers, and enjoy your home movies. As you can see, movie rentals are seamlessly integrated into the new Apple TV interface. Inside the top movies menu, you can check out featured movies, or click through the top movie rentals from the iTunes store. To learn more about a movie, select it then press the center button on your Apple remote. From the movie detail screen, you can view a plot summary and a list of cast and crew, watch a free preview, or click once to rent the movie. You can even see related movies that others have rented. Rent library titles for $2.99, new releases for $3.99, and HD high definition movies for just a dollar more. Once you click rent and confirm your selection, your movie starts downloading to Apple TV. Apple TV notifies you when your movie is ready to watch. On most broadband connections, standard definition movies will be ready instantly. All the movies you rent, both standard definition and high definition, appear in the rented movies menu. Let's take a look at this HD movie rental. Most HD movies you rent from Apple TV feature 5.1 Dolby Digital Surround Sound, so they look and sound fantastic. Rent a movie and you have 30 days to start watching it. Hit play and you have 24 hours to finish it, or to watch it as many times as you want. And once your movie expires, Apple TV automatically deletes it, so it won't take up valuable storage space. You can see how many days you have left before your movie expires, so you won't miss a thing. In addition to movie rentals, Apple TV lets you buy episodes of your favorite TV shows as early as one day after they air. 
You can purchase TV shows for just $1.99 per episode, and if you've set up Apple TV to sync with your Mac or PC, your shows automatically transfer back to your computer so you can enjoy them there or on the go with your iPod or iPhone. You already view photos on your computer, but Apple TV puts photos from the internet on the big screen, larger than life and ready to share. Just use the Apple TV remote to browse photos from your computer and to browse your friends' photos from .Mac web galleries and Flickr. It's incredible to experience your and your friends' photos on your widescreen TV. Apple TV displays all your contacts with a beautiful parade of their latest images. Let's look at a few. Choose music from your library to play with the slideshow. Photos look simply amazing when Apple TV displays them in high definition. Apple TV lets you do even more on your widescreen TV. Watch millions of YouTube videos from the web, listen to or watch the latest podcasts, discover and buy new music, or play your existing iTunes music library on your home entertainment system. Now you've seen how easy it is to get HD movie rentals and more from the comfort of your couch using Apple TV. But remember, you can also rent movies from the iTunes Store and watch them anywhere, on your computer, your iPod, or your iPhone. It's just another way Apple helps you enjoy the movies you love. All the latest features of Apple TV are available in a free software upgrade to existing owners. To buy Apple TV, go to the Apple Online Store or take a test drive at your nearest Apple retail store. Maybe I'll see you there. Well guys, this is Databits again here. Just want to say I hope you enjoyed that little video there starring my ex-girlfriend. And I uh, also wanted to uh, remind you to subscribe to the Databits channel. Also, uh, look me up on Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash the number one and Databits. And be sure to purchase your own version of the original 10-year-old Apple TV at a specialized store near you. And I will see you next time.